Okay, the um, the eye splice has been covered numerous times, but every time I see it covered, the way they they show it is they lay out the strands and they tuck them in one at a time. Okay, one here, and then one under here, and one under here, and then they turn it over and they weave it again. Well. That's one way of doing it, but I want to examine another way. We have three strands. We have a strand on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right, or on the bottom, middle, and top, however you want to look at it. I'm going to start with the middle strand, and I've made a couple of little marks on here. One, two, three. And I'm going to take the middle strand and I'm going to go under the first mark. Then I'm going to take the strand that is on the left and I'm going to go over the strand I just went under and under the strand behind it. Like so. Then I'm going to turn this over and you see a strand coming out here and you see a strand coming out here. There's no strand coming out here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this last strand and I'm going to bring it out where this strand exits. And the result, after you snug all this up, is that the street three strands now are coming out of basically the same place on the rope right between different strands so they're all in the same line now the next tuck is over and under like so this tuck is over this and under. And this tuck is over and under. And when you look at it, you have three strands all at the same level coming out. over and under over and under and finally over then under okay three sets is sufficient you can of course do more you can take these strands and cut them in half make make each strand half as thick and do one more make each of those strand half as thick and do one more and you end up with a very nice tapered eye splice